Welcome back, guys, to Dark Souls. And, well, we just took care of Gwendolyn, the puppet master behind everything. In this treasure chest, the Miracle Sunlight Blade. Miracle is wielded by Gwyn's firstborn. Boosts right weapon with rays of the sun. Ow. The power of sunlight, manifested as lightning, is very effective against dragons. When the eldest son was stripped of his deitic status, he left this on his father's coffin, perhaps as a final farewell. Hmm. And over here, we got the brass set. The set that the firekeeper of on Orlando was wearing before I killed her. Oh yeah, that reminds me. Every firekeeper's soul in this game also has interesting dialogue. A firekeeper's soul is draw for humanity was the ash maiden locked in this dark prison for some transgression or by her own will. Uh, what's it say about the souls of Ornstein and Gwendolyn? I'm curious. Oh yeah, this is, um, the Honorlando one. Uh, her brass armor serves to disguise this ghastly form. So are firekeepers just a bundle of souls in humanity, or are they actually people but just formed? The soul of Ornstein. Dragon Slayer, who guards the cathedral in the Forsaken City of Anorlando. Special beings have special souls. Lord Gwyn granted this soul to his foremost trusted knights. Used to acquire a huge amount of souls or to create a unique weapon. Gwendolyn, Soul of Dark Moon Gwendolyn, God of the Dark Sun and Guardian of, uh, of Deserted Anorlando. Special beings have special souls. Use the soul of Firstborn to acquire a huge amount of souls or... Okay, it doesn't say anything special about them. But yeah, we can now craft special weapons if we wanted to. There's a... There's a, uh... Blacksmith here. You know what? I'm getting out of here. Whatever. Hey, dude! Well, fancy meeting you here. Yo! You did much for me up above. I am grateful. Glad to you hear. Know, I was thinking... What? Get the old talk. What about him? Was that your doing? Yeah, yeah, it was. Yes, I knew it. It seemed like an unlikely coincidence. Well, am I fortunate? This knight of Katarina thanks you sincerely. <laughs> Please, take this as a token of my gratitude. What is it? Emit force? There you are. I'll be heading down below shortly. There's nothing worthwhile up above. No worries. Venturing is my life. I'm prepared for the worst. <laughs> okay. You'll be fine, dude. Anyways, let's go return the Firekeeper's soul. There you go. Thank you. No problem. I'm Anastasia of Astora. And I'm Matt. Now I can continue my duty as a keeper. That's wonderful. But... But what? I only hope that my impure tongue does not offend. Impure tongue? That's fine. Yes, reinforce my SS flask? Thanks. Well, there's nothing else we can do for her. So, we gotta leave. I'm serious, there's nothing else we can do. Anyways, rest at this bonfire. I'll cut really quick to where I need to go to purge myself of the sins. See if it's worth it. Okay, guys. Here I am. And there he is. Greetings. Hello. I am Oswald of Kareem. The pardon. That's good to know. Uh, request absolution. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'll get- it's worth the souls. There. I am now sinless. Yep, it's that easy to get- to be cleansed of all your sins. 
And I guess off screen, I'll just drop off the four sunlight medals. I'll stay a warrior of the sun, just so I can see if there's anything else worth it. Because I still haven't received any comments because I'm still recording. Anyways, here's the dude. Hi, Shimai. Hi, Shimai. Now, we want to purchase from him. No. I already got a master key, so no. Um, yeah, you want... Let's buy a bottomless box. I already bought this, sir. Golem stuff, no thanks. Ornstein stuff. I'm not going to buy the helmet because... I don't really like headgear. Oh, uh, why not? Make it complete. And we can purchase Gwendolyn stuff. I'll just purchase it so you guys can see it. There we go. Thank you. Now, let's head back to the bonfire. So I can show you guys. Die! Ow! Oh yeah, since I'm not really going to care for using the soul of Ornstein or Gwendolyn for anything, I'm just going to pop them and just spend them. So let's see what we got. Ornstein. You're going to give me 12,000. Excellent. Uh, let's also use the soul of a hero. 10,000. Of course, Soul of a Lost Undead, that's gonna give me a minor 200. But the Soul of Gwendolyn, you're gonna give me a grand total of... 16,000. Alright. Oh, yeah. Uh, no. I got... Before we do... God damn it! Stop it! We're gonna level up our atonement. Four slots. That should do it. Plus, we upped our defense, so that's always good to have. And we're going to tune our magic before we do anything. We're going to get... Where is it? Heal. Then... Emit Force or Sunlight Blade? Um, I'm not too sure about the Sunlight Blade. Nah. Emit Force. You're gonna like Emit Force and Great Lightning Spear. Emit Force does this. We are, we can become we're a fucking Jedi. Send shit flying with that. Oh, and our friend is gone. No matter. Okay, it's decision time. Do you think I should keep this armor? Let me get the brass stuff on first. This armor. I gotta admit, I really do like its swag. It's all gold and shit. Should I wear the Silver Knight set? I do like the cape. Or should I wear Ornstein's set? Ooh. This is really cool. I'll probably... This is probably going to be the one I pick if nobody can decide on shit. Uh, let's see what Ornstein's helmet looks with this. Eh. Not much on helmets. Um, I'm going to show you the outfit that Gwendolyn was wearing. Yeah, this is what Gwendolyn was wearing. It's really awkward. So yeah, what do you guys think? Should I wear Ornstein's armor set? Or should I wear... Yes, look at my naked undead body! Should I wear Ornstein's set, or should I keep wearing the swag that I have? Let me know in comments below, people!